This video demonstrates adding I.O. signal modules to an ET200M remote station. First open hardware configuration by selecting an AS on the left, and then right-click hardware on the right and select Open Object. From hardware configuration, select the ET200M you wish to add. In this example, it's the IM153 at the top. The three order number in the list at the bottom. Expand the Profibus DP slash ET200M catalog and select the IM153 choices until the order number at the bottom matches the one in hardware config. In this example, it's 153-2BA01-0XB0. For this demonstration, we'll add an analog output module. Expanding the AO300 list, we'll select a 4-channel, 2-byte, 16-bit analog output module. Before adding it, we should check to see if there's enough memory available in the CIR object to insert this. Scroll down to the list at the bottom to show the CIR object. The CIR object allows us to add and download I.O. to this configuration without having to stop the CPU. If you're not using CIR, this object will not be here. To check to see if it has enough memory to allow the addition of the AO module, right-click it and select Object Properties. The CIR Properties dialog shows how much input and output memory is reserved for additional I.O. modules. Here it shows 16 bytes of input and output is available. The output module needs 4 times 2 bytes, 16 bits, or 8 bytes total, so we're okay. Close the dialog. Drag the module onto the CIR object, and the module is added to the ET200M. Opening the CIR object again reveals that 8 bytes of output memory were consumed for the new module. Let's close the CIR object, expand the AI list, and add an 8 times 16 bit AI module to the CIR object. Once again, open the CIR properties to see that the whole 16 bytes of memory has been consumed for the 8 times 16 bit 2 byte module. Close the CIR properties. If I have to add another input module, it would require the CIR memory being increased and a download to the CPU in stop mode. 